Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin ang proseso ng integration by substitution or by U substitution. We have our examples here. Ang una, we have the integral of 2x times x squared minus 9 raised to the fourth dx. Ang ginagawa natin sa integration by substitution ay pinapadali natin yung isang komplikadong expression by changing yung certain na part niya as U. Kaya pipili tayo dito in our case, ang pipiliin natin ay yung nasa loob ng grouping symbol, we let u be equal to x squared minus 9. Ito yung ginamit natin kasi kapag pinalitan natin to as u, itong x squared minus 9 raised to the fourth will become u raised to the fourth. Tapos gagawa natin ng paraan yung dx. Kasi this will be in terms of u, kailangan ito ay maging du. Kaya ang gagawin, we will be getting the derivative nung u natin with respect to x. Getting its derivative with respect to x, kaya yung left side, this will become derivative of u with respect to x or simply du over dx. Tapos yung right side, pwede na tayong gumamit ng basic rules of differentiation, getting its derivative with respect to x. Ang derivative ng x squared is just 2x, tapos ang derivative ng 9, constant yan, is just 0, kaya 2x minus 0 or simply 2x. Again, ang kailangan natin ay dx, kaya kailangan natin siyang iangat, tapos kailangan natin tanggalin yung 2x dito. So again, we multiply both sides of our equation by dx, ito yung iangat natin, tapos ito yung tatanggalin sa right side, so we have dx over 2x. Kaya ang mangyayari, our left side, kaya ito ay magiging du over 2x, tapos yung nandito naman sa right side, mawawala na si 2x, Tapos magkakaroon tayo ng dx. So our dx is simply equal to du over 2x. Kaya to integration by substitution, kasi yung values natin, yung sa u, saka yung dx ay ipapalit natin dito sa ating given expression. This will become equal to integral of 2x. Tapos yung x squared minus 9, that is just equal to u. Kaya ito ay papalitan natin ng u raised to fourth. So this is u raised to fourth, tapos yung dx, according to our computation here, is just equal to du over 2x. Tapos we can perform our multiplication. Kasi we have 2x times du over 2x, ito will just become 1. Ano yung matitira? This will just become equal to the integral of, na divide na si 2x, kaya ito ay u to the fourth na lang, tapos we have du. Then we can get its integral with respect to u. Gamit tayo ng power rule for integration. Ang ginagawa for power rule of integration, we just add 1 dun sa exponent. So this is equal to u, raised to 4 plus 1, dito sa exponent. Tapos kung ano yung nasa taas, siya yung ilalagay natin as our denominator. So this is u raised to 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 applying power rule of integration. Then, wag kalimutan ng arbitrary constant that is c. So, this is equal to u raised to 4 plus 1. That is u raised to 5 over 4 plus 1 is just 5 plus c. Tapos, ibalik na lang natin siya in terms of x. Ano yung u natin sa taas? As we go back here, our u is equal to x squared minus 9. Ipapalit natin siya sa baba. So, we have our u that is equal to x squared minus 9 raised to 5, kasi this is raised to 5, then this is all over 5, plus the arbitrary constant c. Now, this is our final answer. Kaya kung napansin natin kanina, yung meron tayong x squared minus 9 raised to the fourth, kaya tayo gumamit ng u substitution, is that para masimplify natin siya, in our case, naging u raised to fourth, di yun na lang yung kinukuha na natin ng integral. So, this is the process of using substitution or u substitution pagdating sa integration. Now, let us proceed with our second example. Let us try more. We have the integral of x cubed, x raised to the fourth plus 16 raised to 3 dx. So, as we continue with our computation here, again, pipili tayo ng value na ilalat natin as u. In our case, para hindi na tayo mahirapan, yung nasa loob ng grouping symbol. So, we let u be equal to x raised to the fourth plus 16, tapos again, dahil kailangan natin ng dx, 
kukuhanin natin yung derivative niya with respect to x. So, getting its derivative with respect to x, yung left side, derivative of u with respect to x, or simply du over dx, tapos yung nasa right side, kuhanin ang derivative with respect to x, we apply basic rules of differentiation. Ang derivative nito is 4x cubed. Then, solving for the value of dx, kailangan ulit natin siyang iangat. So, we multiply it to dx, tapos tatanggalin to dito, so we divide 4x cubed. Kaya ang mangyayari, mawawala si dx dito, our left side will become du over 4x cubed. And then this is equal to, yung right side, mawawala si 4x cubed, this will just become dx. Kaya itong dx na to ay papalitan natin ng du over 4x cubed, tapos yung x raised to the 4th plus 16 ay papalitan natin ng u. Performing our substitution, this is just equal to, Integral of, still x cubed, wala pa naman tayong ginagawa sa kanya. And then this is, yung x raised to the 4th plus 16, this is already equal to u, and then raised to 3. Kaya this is u raised to 3. Tapos yung dx is already equal to du over 4x cubed. Then we can perform our division. x cubed divided by x cubed is just equal to 1. Ano yung matitira dito? We arrive at, the integral of u cubed times du over 4. Tapos, para matanggal tung 4 dito, pwede natin siyang ilabas. So, this is just equal to bringing out yung 1 fourth. You have 1 fourth times u cubed times du. Kasi etong part na to can be 1 over 4 times du. And then, inayos lang natin siya, nilagay natin siya dito. Now, we apply constant multiple rule of integration. Kapag ka meron kang constant, pwede nating ilabas sa integration natin. Kaya ang mangyayari dito, bringing out 1 over 4, this is just equal to 1 over 4 ay nasa labas. Tapos ang may iwan sa loob, we have u cubed and then du. Now we can just apply power rule of integration. So this is equal to 1 over 4. Tapos we apply power rule, dadagdagan ng isa, yun nasa exponent. So this will become u raised to 3 plus 1 is 4. Tapos kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya yung nasa denominator, so this is over 4. And then, the arbitrary constant C. Then, we perform our multiplication, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, this is equal to 1 times u to the 4th is u to the 4th over 4 times 4 is 16 and then plus C. Last step, ibalik na lang natin siya from in terms of u, pabalik kay x. So, tignan natin yung ginawa natin sa taas. We let u be equal to x raised to the 4th plus 16. Kaya ibabalik natin to dun sa u, going down. So we have u, this is equal to x raised to the 4th plus 16. So this is x raised to the 4th plus 16. And then this is raised to 4. And then over, denominator is 16 plus the arbitrary constant c. Now, this is our final answer. Again, gumawa ulit tayo ng substitution para yung given natin expression will just become 1 over 4 integral of u to the cube du. And then kapag ka nandito na tayo, mas madali nang gumamit ng formula for integration. Our goal again is to simplify a complicated expression, mapadali siya by using our substitution. This is for our second example. Tuloy na tayo sa ating pangatlo. We have our integral of 3, the square root of 3x minus 7 dx. Ito, bago natin ituloy yung integration, ilipat muna natin siya into its exponential form. So, this is equal to integral of, since meron tayong square root, ito will become 3x minus 7 raised to 1. Ang denominator ay yung root, since square root lang siya, kaya ang denominator natin is 2. Square root of 3x minus 7 is also equivalent to 3x minus 7 raised to 1 half and then dx. Now we perform our substitution. Ito mas madaling hanapin kung ano yung let us u. We let u be equal to 3x minus 7. Then again, para makakuha tayo ng dx, we perform the derivative with respect to x nung buong equation. Starting with our left side, this is just the derivative of u with respect to x. Tapos performing yung basic rules of differentiation, ang derivative ng 3x minus 7 is simply 
3. Then solving for dx, we multiply both sides of our equation by, iaangat ulit si dx, so this is dx, over yung nandito, that is 3. Kaya yung left side natin will become du, makawala si dx, will become 3, and then this is equal to, makawala si 3, our right side will become dx. Now we perform our substitution. Again, papalitan natin yung 3x minus 7 as u, tapos yung dx ay papalitan natin as du over 3. Now palit natin siya dito, this is equal to the integral of, yung 3x minus 7 will become u, kaya ito ay magiging u raised to 1 over 2, tapos yung dx ay magiging du over 3. So we have du over 3. Tapos again, para masimplify siya, pwede kong ilabas yung 1 over 3 na nakamultiply kay du. So this is equal to integral of 1 over 3. Tapos eto ay u raised to 1 half. Tapos multiplied to du. Now applying the constant multiple rule of integration, pwede ilabas si 1 over 3. So this is equal to 1 over 3 times the integral of, ang matitira sa loob, we have u raised to 1 half and then du. Now, performing our power rule of integration, this is equal to 1 over 3, and then multiplied to, yung nasa baba, that is u, tapos yung nasa exponent ay dadagdagan ng isa. So, this will become 1 over 2 plus 1, tapos kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya rin yung nasa denominator, so this is over 1 over 2 plus 1. Tapos, we perform our addition here, so this is equal to 1 over 3, Tapos, yung u raised to 1 over 2 plus 1, this is just equal to u raised to 3 over 2 over denominator 1 over 2 plus 1, this is also 3 over 2. Tapos, para makapag-perform tayo ng division, i-multiply natin siya dun sa reciprocal nung denominator. So, this is equal to, continuing with our solution, 1 over 3 times numerator u raised to 3 over 2 reciprocal ng denominator, so this is 2 over 3. Then we perform our multiplication, this is just equal to 1 times 2, that is 2, tapos 3 times 3 is 9. So this will become 2 over 9, and then u raised to 3 over 2. And then as we go back, ano yung value ng u natin sa taas? We have u that is 3x minus 7. Ipapalit na natin siya sa baba, so we have u that is 3x minus 7, this is equal to 2 over 9 times 3x minus 7, then this is raised to 3 over 2 plus c. Again, huwag kalimutan sa arbitrary constant. Punuin na natin siya dito sa solution. Simula dun sa nag-integrate tayo para makompleto siya. So we have here dito. So this is our plus c. Now we arrive at our final answer that is 2 over 9 times 3x minus 7 raised to 3 over 2 plus c. Then again, using our integration by substitution. This is it for our third example. Tuloy tayo sa ating huling example for this lecture video. We have here, integral of x raised to 5 minus 2 over x raised to the 6 minus 12 x raised to 5 and then dx. Baka medyo malita tayo dun sa pagpili kung ano yung let you pero para hindi na tayo mahirapan, Hanapin nyo lang yung medyo komplikado kasi ito hindi agad natin mapapakawalan kasi meron siyang exponent na 5. So in our case, we just let u be equal to etong nasa loob, x raised to the 6 minus 12x. Tapos again, getting its derivative with respect to x para makakuha tayo ng dx, then this is just equal to left side derivative of u with respect to x, du over dx is equal to we have the derivative nito, applying basic rules again, ibababa. So this is 6x raised to, bawasan ng isa, 5, minus derivative of 12x is just equal to 12. Now solving for the value of dx, dapat siya lang yung matitira sa isang side. Ang gagawin, dx lang, yun nasa numerator. Tapos yun nasa denominator ay gagawin nating eto. We have 6x raised to the 5th minus 12. Kaya ang mangyayari, makawala sa dx dito, this will become du over 6x raised to the 5th minus 12. Tapos this will become, eto ay mawawala, we can perform our division. Ang matitira na lang ay si dx. 
Now, para makompleto natin yung value ng dx and then para hindi na rin tayo mahirapan once we substitute, kasi kung makikita natin, babalik tayo pag dito, we have x raised to the fifth minus 2. Kaya pwede, etong nasa denominator, we can factor out 6. Kasi tignan nyo kung ano yung mangyayari. So, this will become equal to, pagpalitin na natin si left side tsaka si right side, dx is equal to du over, kapag finactor out si 6, this will become x raised to the fifth minus 2. Kaya kung makikita natin, meron tayong x raised to the fifth minus 2 dito, kapag pinalit natin yung dx, eto, we can perform our division. Masisimplify na yung ating given. So working there, gawin natin to, we substitute our dx papunta doon, tapos isubstitute din natin yung u dito. So this is equal to, kaya ito ay magiging integral of x raised to the fifth minus 2, then this is over, yung denominator, x raised to the sixth minus 12x, that is just equal to u, tapos raised to 5. Kaya ang denominator natin is just u raised to 5. Yung dx is already equivalent here, kaya ito ay magiging du over, yung dx pinalitan, du over 6 times x raised to the fifth minus 2. Then kung makikita natin, ang kagandahan dun sa ginawa, we can perform our division here. This will become 1. So, x raised to the fifth minus 2 divided by x raised to the fifth minus 2. Ito ay magiging 1 na lang. Kaya ang may iwan, integral of du over denominator u to the fifth times 6 or simply 6 times u raised to the fifth. Tapos, pwede kong ilabas yung 1 over 6 kasi this is also equivalent to the integral of 1 over 6 times du over u to the fifth. Applying constant multiple rule of integration, pwede kong ilabas yung constant na 1 over 6. So, this is equal to 1 over 6. Integral of du over u to the fifth, pwede ko tong iangat. This is also equal to u raised to negative 5 and then du. Then, we can perform our power rule of integration. Kaya, ang mangyayari, doing that, we have 1 over 6 here. That is equal to multiplied to u. Tapos ito ay dadagdagan ng isa. Negative 5 plus 1, that is negative 4. Tapos kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya rin yung nasa denominator. So this is over negative 4. And then, ang arbitrary constant natin, plus c. Then we just perform our operation here. So this is equal to numerator times numerator. So this is u raised to negative 4. Over denominator times denominator, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, and then plus C. Then, pwede pa siyang simplify, iaangat na lang natin yung negative sign, pwede rin naman yun. And then, kung gusto natin ibaba, etong u raised to negative 4, this is also equivalent to negative. Since binaba na natin to, the numerator will become 1 over 24. Tapos, from u raised to negative 4, this will become u raised to 4 plus C. And then lastly, ibabalik na lang natin siya from u pabalik kay x. Tignan natin kung ano yung value ng x kanina. We have our x that is, or u rather, that is x raised to the 6 minus 12x. Ipapalit na natin yung u. Gagawin natin x raised to the 6 minus 12x going down here. So this is equal to negative 1 over, we have 24 times u is x raised to the 6th minus 12x. Tapos, wag kalimutan, we have an exponent that is 4. So, this is raised to 4 plus c. Igat na lang natin yung 1 para mas maganda siyang tignan. So, now, this is our final answer. Again, medyo napahaba lang ng konti yung solution kasi hindi naging ganun kasakto yung sinabsitute natin. Meron pa tayong kailangan i-factor out. Pero, all goes well kasi kung makikita natin, Na simplify naman natin from 1 over 6 integral of u raised to negative 5 du after using our substitution. Tapos gumamit na lang tayo ng power rule of integration. This ends our lecture video for integration by substitution or by u substitution. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching.